Countrymen, the task ahead is great indeed. And heavy is the responsibility. And yet, it is a noble and glorious challenge. A challenge which calls for the courage to dream, the courage to believe, the courage to dare, the courage to do, the courage to envision, the courage to fight, the courage to work, and the courage to achieve. say that uh, the first thing that anybody who comes to Ghana needs to recognize that this is the country in the middle of the world. We are the only country on latitude zero and longitude zero and definitely that must count for something. For us one our locations is quite strategic um, in the center actually of the world. We have gone even further to let everybody appreciate Ghana as the gateway to Africa. It's one of the best countries no matter our tribal, religious, or political differences, the peace is always something that we cherish. So our peace is something to be proud of, and it's testament of the type of people we have here in Ghana. Since I was born, because I've always been in this country, peace is one thing that I'll say that I'm very proud of. So I think going back to what our president said, uh, what makes me proud has been uh, in Ghana is the stability that we are enjoying and the peace that we are enjoying and the booming nature of the economy also. Ghana is the best country on earth. The heaven on earth is Ghana. Ghana is the first sitter in Sub-Saharan Africa. Ghana was the first country in Sub-Saharan Africa to gain independence. And we have a very strong democratic tradition in the country. Five uh, presidents have transferred power in a row without any hint of difficulty. The, the historical pedigree that we set ourselves of being the first Sub-Saharan African country to gain independence. And people know Ghana because of Kwame Nkrumah. Ghana, one of the first sub-Saharan African countries to get independent, has played a leading role uh, since the days of Kwame Nkrumah. Ghanaians deciding to embed democracy uh, set the foundation right. So we've been politically stable uh, for a long time. In an environment in which you have stability, uh, investors are able to plan better. Foreign investors, international investors, always look out for the political stability of the country. That is key. And that is one big plus for Ghana. Every investor wants a peaceful destination. Wants to reduce his risk. Wants to protect his investment. You have no place to go but to come home. That is Ghana. If anybody is looking for a peaceful destination in Africa, or for that matter, even in West Africa to put their money, Ghana is the place. So between being a safe, stable, political place and a very nice, attractive hub for manufacturing, I think we've got a great future. Government after government has helped build that kind of uh, impression and that solid stability for us to be able to, to thrive. Many new investors who are, who are coming into Ghana. A lot of foreign direct investment has been coming in, working in coordination with the government and helping increase the production capacity. We're going to use the resources we have and uh, the human capital we have to drive development in partnership with foreign direct investment. We've challenged ourselves to be the peace setters in Africa. 
and globally as well. So everywhere you look in Ghana, there's opportunity everywhere, so it's the place to be. Not only will you enjoy doing business in Ghana, you probably will learn how to live in Ghana and be successful. Ghana is full of natural resources, hence its name Gold Coast. Friendliness of the people and their natural hospitality um, is really important as well. The sky is the limit here, there's still so much to be done. In the energy sector, Ghana is creating new opportunities to provide safe, reliable, and affordable energy access through onshore and offshore oil exploration and rural electrification initiatives. Through energy democratization, Ghana is creating jobs and increasing the quality of life for its 31 million inhabitants. We plan on making Ghana a petroleum hub um, in the West Africa region. I hear exploration is going on on new oil wells and so on. So I think that there's huge potential for increasing our capacity. And we in GMPC believe that is the way to go. By investing in much capacity building, much te technology. We've continued to supply gas reliably for the production of electrical energy or power. So we welcome the new discoveries, offshore and onshore. And we know it's going to expand our market and it's going to reduce the cost of this very vital commodity to us. Individuals uh, have been trained very well in terms of uh, acquiring the necessary skill sets to occupy some of the higher positions in the industry right now. Once the customers know that we can supply safe and reliable electricity for them, we believe that more businesses can even come into the area to benefit from the use of this uh, reliable and stable power supply. The next line of projects that we'll be looking at, mainly I, I believe solar energy is what they'll be considering the most. It will play a key role in determining, creating affordability in, in the prices for um, energy in Ghana. Ghana is future in this energy sector is very bright. Through the One District, One Factory initiative, Ghana is becoming a pioneer in the manufacturing sector. By industrializing the nation, Ghana is empowering its districts, improving employment, and creating a sense of pride that high quality goods are being produced in Ghana to be exported across Africa and beyond. One district, one factory policy, which just simply means that at least every and each of the 260 districts in Ghana should have some manufacturing or value addition enterprise. The 1D1F um, program is part of the government's initiative to industrialize the country, uh, make it better, and to decentralize industrialization. If the, the 1D1F is really pushing us towards making manufacturing one of the main goals, and I think it's a good initiative by the government to help propel the economy to the next level. I think there's big scope uh, into uh, manufacturing and I think it will give a big boost not only for the industrialization but also for the employment. The government is supporting us and all the manufacturing uh, unit and we know that government will always be there for us and for others also. Kasaprako is one of the biggest beverage manufacturers in Ghana. We are the pioneer in bitters production. And clearly we rate Ghana as one of the uh, better countries to be in. We got into multiple manufacturing businesses. We are meant to be creating and innovating projects that will enhance the growth of agriculture. It's still about uh, technology, providing solutions that enables the farmer to create wealth. So Ghana has 
one of the largest coal reserves in Africa. We have almost 10 million ounces of reserves still to be explored. So when you put all this together, it becomes a big basket from which Ghanaians and visitors can shop. It is state of the art to deliver the quality goods at the best competitive rates to every uh, Ghanaian and to the whole West African market. Defined by high quality construction, innovation and modern designs, the rapidly evolving and influential real estate sector is attracting both local and foreign home buyers who seek to establish roots and create a community in Ghana. Real estate in Ghana is very dynamic. We have a lot of um, non ghanaian residents and foreign home buyers who are willing to move to Ghana to come and buy a property as a vacation, also as a rental um, property. We are trying to come up with new initiatives which will help industry and to help buildings to become more functional and more modern. It's definitely the quality of our construction is uh, unbeatable and the design also, I'm very proud of our designs. With Accra being the um, capital and the hub for business and travelers, most people would want to buy properties. So there's a lot of focus now in building communities, not just building individual units. Everyone wants to come to Ghana now. The banking sector in Ghana upholds one of Africa's fastest growing economies, attracts foreign direct investment, and supports local businesses. The macroeconomic framework that we have put into place has focused on very close coordination between the fiscal policy and the monetary policy. And the city has stabilized quite considerably. Most banks today are very well capitalized, very liquid. The Bank of Ghana has ensured that the regulation aspect of it is stronger. This is a government that has come in with a lot of goodwill, with a lot of confidence, attracted a lot of international attention. Subsequent to that, Bank of Ghana encouraged all of the banks to sign on to the Sustainable Banking Initiative. Over the years, there's been consistent work at making that environment ideal for business and for foreign direct investments. It's become a very active market, very liquid, all because the Ghanaian investor prefers to invest in first income securities. The economy is growing fast, being quoted as one of the fastest growing economies. By assisting small to medium-sized enterprises, local businesses can increase their capacity and receive the necessary funding to expand. The SME sectors are very important. SME businesses, small, medium-sized companies, are the engine of growth. We're making SME funding easy and smooth to obtain. So what we have done you know, over the years is to work with them. So we basically partner with them to help them to build up capital as they grow their businesses. GCB plays a very important role. We work actually very closely with the government for that matter, in disseminating some of the programs and uh, policies into the communities, particularly in the rural areas. Furthermore, the fintech sector aids these initiatives and is pioneering financial inclusion the fintech industry is very active. We have a new fintech and innovation office in the central bank. GCB is a premier bank. We have an electronic platform called uh, G Money. We're using G Money to deepen financial inclusion and to get people in Ghanaian communities able to make payments. We've been a leader in inclusive banking where we try to bring a lot of 
Benin to don't have bank accounts to do this into the banking fraternity. We're also very much involved in the digital agenda of the government. Well, we're a key part of the government e-collections um, platform. Uh, we've pushed the GHQR agenda strongly. Leveraging on, on technology to try and make sure that we create a customer-centric way of developing products within that space. We have put in measures in place to leverage on payment platforms, uh, to partner with fintechs, and to be able to support our customers. We have helped to let clients be aware that the way to go is e-commerce, the way to go is technology. Uh, we have just got an approval recently from Bank of Ghana to open our uh, innovation hub. I'm seeing a sector that is moving towards enhanced digitization. The payment services are very well defined and, and maturing. So it's, you cannot be a player in the market without integrating. Uh, we do believe that the way forward is a strongly digital economy and we're actively pushing that agenda. We have a very active and, and, and competitive industry. The country is really ahead. There are a lot of impressive innovations here. So the stronger the banking sector, the stronger the economy, or vice versa. We are, we are interrelated and codependent. A lot of work has been done to lead to these very positive results. Through digitalization and the use of technology, the insurance sector ensures that the people of Ghana remain healthy and that businesses have the space to thrive. We want to build a very strong insurance market where we have a level playing field for all practitioners. Healthcare is very key. You can't grow a country without a healthy population. So access to healthcare is a must. We work very well with the Bank of Ghana. Uh, they help with our financial intelligence as far as the background of um, people who are coming onto the market. This is a, is a small country, but there's a very large market for us to serve. Insurance enables businesses to propel. All what we're trying to do is to make sure that the companies have the capacity to do business. So we are making sure that everybody in corporate Ghana is healthy and fit and get access to health care. What I wish for Ghana is to have all the financial sector well digitized so that it will be easy to do business and it will bring a lot of confidence in the market. Technology will be the cutting edge for this industry. In an increasingly digital world, technology is at the heart of progress. Ghana's IT sector is providing opportunities for young entrepreneurs to lead and succeed, while access to technology and digital infrastructure generates endless opportunities for people and businesses across the nation. It's no surprise that Ghana is known as the gateway to Africa, and it's a gateway to Africa not only for industry or anything, but it's a gateway to technology. As we all know, technology leads development now. For the past decade or so, we have consistently a government focusing on digitization. We intend to create an incubation unit where we can help young and bargain entrepreneurs support them so that they can leverage on our capital intensive infrastructure. Uh, quite a number of young companies like us actually have grown over the infrastructure of ITC. We encourage young people to be very critical thinkers and to think solutions for Africa. This is the biggest advantage of technology, that it helps smaller organizations, medium level organizations to grow and develop by having their employees more productive and more efficient. When it comes to technology, I think we've had good push by a successive government in helping us grow. 
uh, in what we are doing. We want to ensure that every part of Ghana has access to connectivity. We're building an ecosystem for the new digital world. Ghana is a nation defined by progress, resilience, and a determination for a better tomorrow. Its young and dedicated population, its culture of hospitality, and its opportunities across sectors are all leading toward making Ghana not only a hub for investment, but a gateway into Africa where anything can be achieved. My hopes for Ghana, very simply, are that it will continue to be the pivot of democracy for the continent of Africa and also be the hub for investment for the continent. We are looking at the leading role of economic independence. Ghana's history in the recent past over the last 20 years is very positive and that energy is what is driving the country forward. I'm very proud of the fact that in the short space of time, how things have transformed drastically. I travel quite extensively around and I've seen the progress that Ghana has made. I believe that we are, are taking the right steps towards the development of our country. We're very entrepreneurial and I think Ghana has done very well when it comes to gender equity. Where we've been able to integrate all of these tribes for us to live in one nation that we call Ghana. That in itself is something that all of us must be very, very proud of. As a country, one of our, our greatest assets are the young people, the youth in this country. Younger people of talent and acumen are gradually easing into leadership. You can see that there's a beautiful transitioning process we aim to do more, but I think we have come a long way. What makes me very proud is how far we've gone. Whatever the circumstances, whatever the challenges, Guineans will get on with what has to be done. We're also a very resilient people. We don't give up. Guineans see themselves as one people. And Ghana has always been a leader on the African continent. That is what makes me very proud as a Guinean. I believe Ghana should be seen as an icon in the African continent. Um, we are an exciting, happy, bubbly, friendly people. Very welcoming, warm to foreigners. I feel people here are very, very spiritual. I feel the country has a lot to offer. I love Ghana and I believe that Ghana has a future. The goal is to be among the first. But we have a future that one can trust. And Ghana will definitely be the place where dreams come true. I'm proud to be a